All right, we have just completed the proving. Now, the only reason why we did that is because we wanted to... Well, we had to pick sides in this struggle for power between the... the son of the... I'm going the wrong way. No, I'm going the right way. Between the son of the former and now dead king Legion of the dead warriors and a member of their like their ruling council named Lord Haramont. Now I chose Lord Haramont only because he was the first person or first power that I had encountered. I really don't give a damn what uh, oh I am in the right section. What am I doing? And well I have to go and I needed to gain some of these approval so I could finally meet with them and I can help them ascend the power because I need the troops of the of all the dwarves to fight against the dark spawn. Right now the only people we have fighting for us are the um, are the mages and that's just not enough. Warden, I'm afraid the assembly is still locked in debate. What can I do for you? How's the election looking now? At this point, they're stone for stone. I wouldn't put any coin on the outcome. It's still up in the air, though. One big surprise, and it could go either way. <laughs> you suck. Okay, that, uh, I was expecting there to be a cutscene there. Okay, so we're gonna go back. Is the voice of change and right. Uh, I gotta go to the bar. That's where I'm gonna find the, my contact. And he's not gonna be in the House of Harm. No I've been having a hard time, a very hard time, getting through this section of the game. load because all of, like the all the bugs that this game seems to possess have all just sort of come to the forefront while I'm going through this area the game keeps crashing on me maybe it's because I have a couple of mods installed and that's perfectly reasonable assumption but you know it is what it is There he is. No, oh, that's not him. There he is. Atrasvala, champion. I hear your performance in the proving was nothing short of amazing. I must thank you for bringing both Beisel and Widon back into the fight. His lordship was touched to see his old friends stand for him. There can no longer be any doubt where your sympathies lie. If you're ready, Lord Haramont will see you now. Excellent. Lead the way. His lordship is looking forward to meeting you. I appreciate what you have done, Warden. And I apologize for putting one of your rank through such trials. I am Lord Pyrell Harold, and I thank you for your efforts to help you preserve King Indrin's throne. Why would Erdin prefer you over his own son? You may not know the story, but Balin is actually the youngest of three. Endrin's eldest, Trian, was murdered in the Deep Roads not a year ago. His middle son was found standing over the body and was exiled. But I've always found it suspicious that Balin knew just where to look. Endrin loved his sons too much to voice such suspicions. But he knew Balin's only interest in ruling was to further his own power. So Balin's men say you planted those suspicions. Balin resents me because I did not believe his setup. I wanted a full investigation, a trial, not this knee-jerk reaction. 
It speaks poorly of Balin that Endrin himself was the first to think that he should not be trusted. You believe you'd be a better king than Balin? I have never sought the throne. My role was to serve Endrin first as his advisor, then as an elected desher in the assembly. A Haramont has never been king, and I always assumed Trian would rule after his father. But both Endrin and my colleagues have asked me to step up, and I will not back down when Orzammar needs me. The assembly has more power than the king? The assembly represents the voices of the wisest, most noble families. While we need a single king to preside over important functions and lead us in battle, the assembly better represents all in Orzammar. All I want is your support against the Blight. For us, the Darkspawn are a constant menace, so a Blight may not elicit the same urgency you are used to. Ultimately, the assembly decides what troops to send. If they no longer fear civil war, they'll have no reason to hold back. If you want my support to count, I will have to be king. And right now, there is no sure way to get there. Have you heard of a woman named Jarvia and the criminal Carter she runs? I take them out, you get the credit. Is that the plan? I'm glad you're so eager. If you help me shut her down, we can show the Assembly I am the right king to defend Orzammar. Jarvia hides her base in Dust Town, the raw edges of the city where no one lives but castless and criminals. If you would help me in this, it would show the Assembly that I, and not Balin, have the ability to defend and rule this city. I'll go right now. Do this, and I promise if I take the throne, I will not stop until the Assembly sends your troops. Look for Javier in Dust Town. Do whatever it takes to see that justice is served. The first time I played through this game, when I got up to this point, I decided why well, I didn't. I did side with Lord Haramont when I initially came in. And beyond that, and I did go and take his side in the I did take his side when it came to fighting the tournament but once I got up to this point I discovered it was possible for me to change sides now I didn't really much care which side I fought on so I immediately ran into a representative of the prince's forces and decided to go oh these guys are gonna attack me Enemy the warden. seems to have noticed all that bloodshed. Anyway, I immediately went and traded sides. Why? Because I didn't really care who won, and two, it was convenient. So I traded sides and ended up taking the prince's uh, the prince's side in that conflict. As you say. Very well. Allow me. I could do that for you. Sweet. What is this, like a toilet? Ah, whatever.
Looks like I could go around the building or something, but I don't think I can. Well, look at that. It's not often old Nadezda sees a fine-dressed stranger here in Dust Town. Help a poor cripple. And what'll you give me in exchange? What are you looking for? Do you name no one woman named Jarvia? Know her. I used to run with her. Jarvia took over the Carta not more than a year ago, and already she's got every duster with both legs bearing swords for her. Where could I find her? Won't be easy. She's gotten real careful since Barat died. Real paranoid. She's got Carta members all carrying these finger bone tokens. She scratches some mark into them so she'll know they came from her. There's doors to her base all over the city, but only one is ever open at a time. And if you show up without a token, you'd never know it was there. Where do I find one of these tokens? Can't help you there, Selraka. The Carta members keep them real tight. But that's worth something, right? Maybe just a little. I'll give you ten silver. Take care of yourself. I'll think of you when I go to bed with a full stomach. Alright. Bribery. Gotta love it. It is begun. Alright, that's not gonna help. And I can't unlock it or anything. Gotta go find me one of them do stone thingies, or bone thingies. What do you want, Warden? You're out of your element down here. I'm looking for a thief. Damn it. I'm looking for a thief who dared to steal from a shepherd or something. Is that so? What makes you think anyone here would turn me, I mean, this person in? You've walked into a sodding fight, Warden. I've already passed your stupid tome along. Too bad for you. All right, here we go. You will not Haha. <laughs> okay. He was a thief, but uh of that home, but not the person we were looking for. That was a side quest. What are you looking for? We got nothing to buy for the likes of you. Or maybe you wanted to sell. <sighs> this doesn't look like a store. Well, our business is kind of covert, if you know what I mean. It's illegal in Orzammar for me to engage in protected trade, but they look the other way if I share things with my friends. For money. What do you know about Jarvia? Enough to know she don't fancy strangers asking questions. I'm looking for the Carter's base. Only Jarvia's men know all the entrances to her base. But I tell you, I've watched them. They go up to what look like bare walls and poof. Gone. Like there's a secret door. There's one just across the way. Watch long enough and you'll see. Now you want to buy something? Or are we done? Let me see your wares. Of course. Okay, well, he told us something we already knew. To go and stare at that door over there. Your clothes are so fancy. Did you get them topside? Yes, I did. My ma'am used to say they don't got no stone to protect them topside. If I go up there, I'm gonna fall into the sky. Oh, uh, no, that doesn't happen. Yes. <laughs> when my doll left, he never came back. Who's to say he didn't fall up, eh? Do you know anything about the small rodents down here? Nugs? Yes. They don't got much meat on them, but down here you can't be picky. Better than nothing. Could you catch one for me? What for? You going to cook them up yourself? My friend would like one as a pet. Yeah, I can find a nug for you. Could even get one from outside the city. Those ones in the deeps don't eat as much garbage. I don't know what they eat, but they always seem healthier, you know? Shiny coats, bright eyes. 
How much you giving me? Twenty silver. Real silver, huh? I'll get you a big one for that. Give me some time. I'll hunt him down for you. Yeah, okay. It's another side quest. Liliana wants one as a pet. Okay. Uh, Don't you go asking so many questions. Get you in trouble one day. That Jarvi is a dangerous one. Spare a coin? Two bits for the needy. Can I ask you some questions about the Carter? What are you trying to do? Kill me? Spare a coin? <laughs> bits for the needy. What do you uh do you know where I can find Jarvia's base? Keep asking questions like that, and you'll get dragged in soon enough. Uh that's what I'm hoping for. Oh, you look important. You're back. I thought you weren't coming. What did he say? Oh, sorry, I haven't asked yet. Let me get back to that. I'll wait as long as it takes. There's nowhere else for me to go. She's got a kid, some better father disowning her, blah blah blah. I'm no one, no one, don't look at me. Six bits for a tumble, two silvers if you all want to go at once. Prostitution, yay. You know where I can find Jarvie's base? It's everywhere. That's the problem. There's nowhere she can't see you. Hey there, stranger. Six bits for a tumble. Two silvers if you all want to go at once. Can I ask you some questions about the Carter? I, I weren't talking to you. Hear me? We weren't talking. Yeah, okay. What we have here. Jarvia said you were looking for trouble. Congratulations. You found it. Enemies approaching! Time for a killing. I just went through that door and ended up here. I cut the camera because I wasn't expecting to find anything. Oh, there's a bunch of them. <laughs> Don't kill me! Uh, sorry, ancestors! What do they teach you on the surface? Uh, you fight like a bleeding archdemon. Sweet bloody stone, look at them all! Tell me how to find Jarvia, or you join them. The base is below the city. You, uh, you can get to it through the wall of the third house on this row. Put this token through the slot, and it'll open. Uh, will you let me go now? Yes. And I don't want to hear... I don't want you to be... Ugh, jeez. Yes. And you won't want to be back at Jarvie's base when I get there. Really? Oh, thank you. You're a, a good person. How do they say it? The ancestors have shown their favor. Bless you. Should have killed him. Well. The slaughtering these fuckers was the most profitable thing I've done in here. Okay, there we go. We've got the bone to get in there, but at 19 minutes and 20 seconds, the episode's gone on long enough.